So if you're an NBA fan, I'm sure that you've wondered what would happen if Kobe Bryant played for at least one other team inside his NBA career. So in today's video, we're pretty much doing that, except we're not because he's also technically still playing for the Lakers, but he's also playing for every other NBA team inside the league as well. So yes, this does mean that he's actually playing for the Los Angeles Clippers, even though we know that he absolutely despises of that team. And he's also very ironically going to be suiting up for the Toronto Raptors, who, as we know, allowed him to score 81 total points inside an NBA game which is the closest that we've ever seen inside the modern era to Wilt Chamberlain's 100 point game. And if you're like me and you're from Indiana, then you've never had a single good NBA player on your team, except for a couple of players like that. But now we don't have to suffer anymore because we get a prime Kobe Bryant to play alongside Tyrese Halliburton and Miles Turner. The only bad thing is literally every other team in the league also has Kobe Bryant. And to be honest, I would go over all the rosters inside the league and show you who their best player was, but quite literally for every single team inside the league, it's Kobe Bryant and then it's Kobe Bryant again again Kobe Bryant again same thing for the Hawks and the Heat and even the Charlotte Hornets and the Jazz and well actually not for the Lakers because LeBron's technically a higher overall than Kobe Bryant even though they're both 98 overalls but I mean like I said I guess LeBron's oh, just man. built different there are actually a couple unique Kobe's inside the league because uh, as we could see on the Philadelphia 76ers Kobe is wearing number nine which is Mac McClung's number so I guess even though he won a dunk contest Philadelphia doesn't really care about him because they gave Kobe his number which actually could I just change this to number eight is anybody even worried that i don't i'm pretty sure it's not retired oh never mind I, I definitely can't change it and oh yeah just to make things interesting i'm gonna throw in a little challenge just to spice things up so if the indiana pacers win the championship within these next three seasons i'll do a face reveal in this video right here and to be honest i quite literally have no idea why i'm doing this i'm just kind of bored but yeah hey to be honest we might as well just start simulating i'm gonna go ahead and go to the all-star break and see how all the kobe's are doing and yeah as you might have guessed the all-star captains are kobe bryant and also kobe bryant and i'm not really sure if you care about what the all-star teams look like but here they are there's like what eight kobe bryant's inside this and if you're curious to see which ones were the all-star captains it actually turns out to be the timberwolves one and also the kobe bryant a part of the orlando magic but yeah luka Doncic did win mvp jalen Durant, rookie of the year jalen brown's the sixth man of the year behind kobe bryant and joel mb won dpoy and to be honest we don't really care about the rest the orlando magic kobe bryant did make all nba first team and how many points per game did he average like 30 no it was only actually 26 points per game which is a lot but i think he had like nine assists or nine rebounds per game and the Minnesota Timberwolves won average 27. The Brooklyn Nets averaged nearly 31 points per game. Okay, that that makes a lot of sense. And on all NBA 13, we have the Memphis Grizzlies and the New York Knicks won. And uh, to be honest, let's just go ahead and look at the playoffs bracket real quick. The West is obviously always looking powerful. And same thing can be said for the East since, I mean, everyone has prime Kobe Bryant. But I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the conference finals real quick just because we got to get all the bums out of the way, you know? Okay, so inside the West, we have the Los Angeles Clippers and the New Orleans Pelicans competing against one another and i'm not gonna lie i was not expecting the clippers to make it this far mainly because they have like four shooting guards a part of the team and like all four of them are actually pretty good and over here in the east we have the philadelphia 76ers and the boston celtics and funny thing enough both of these kobe's are not wearing either of their original numbers but hey to be honest i might go game by game just because i kind of want this to be interesting you know I, I want this to be as entertaining as possible and uh, the sixers got eliminated and so did the pelicans and oh my goodness we have a matchup of the boston Celtics and Los Angeles Clippers and Kobe Bryant is playing for both teams now this is super 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 ironic mainly because I said that this man has an absolute hatred for the Los Angeles Clippers and also the Boston Celtics which of course looking at Kobe Bryant's history that would make sense on why for both teams but hey real quick let's go game by game the Boston Celtics do win the first and the second can they win the third yes they can what about a full sweep no the Los Angeles Clippers say no they also win game five and game six we have a game seven. Oh my god Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting all that. We, if they blow a 3 0 loop, was it 3 0 lead or is it 3 1? I have no idea. But if the Los Angeles Clippers come back, break their. Wait a minute. Hold on. They are down by 40 points. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It might be wraps for my Clippers. There's no way they actually come back. And yeah, they lost by 36. Damn. And Kobe Bryant dropped 33. And Kobe Bryant also dropped 29 points and 11 assists. That I'm not gonna lie. That was a phenomenal performance by the <laughs> the uh, Boston Celtics, which I guess also is technically the LA Lakers what? or not the Lakers, the LA Clippers. But uh, I'm not gonna do a whole history dive. And Jason Tatum surprisingly won Finals MVP, which is I'm not gonna lie, is what? very ironic considering what happened last season. And LeBron 
James retired, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say no to that. And Chris Paul and Dwight Howard since he was teammates with uh, what's his face? What is what, wait? What is his name? Yeah, Kobe Bryant. How did I forget his name? And Kevin Love wants to retire. Nope. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the next season. And oh yeah. Also, one thing I didn't mention is that I'm just gonna let these Kobe's move around however they feel. So we might <laughs> we might potentially get two or maybe three Kobe's on one team. But uh, yeah, the Boston Celtics they don't have their Kobe no more. What happened to them? Where? Wait. What about the Cavs? what happened to all the kobe's uh there's no way they all just like went and teamed up is there there's no way i don't see any of them on the team okay we have the charlotte hornets one the utah jazz one and that's like it where are all the kobe's we have one on the magic the nets where did all what what the freak just happened to the league i guess that all the kobe's are just sitting inside free agency for some reason if i simulate a little bit throughout the season are they gonna like start joining teams okay yeah we have a kobe right here he's wearing number four again so uh I'm assuming that might be the same one actually. And did all the Kobe's go back to their respectful teams? Because I'm assuming they did. We wait a minute. We have two Kobe's on the Charlotte Hornets. And we have two on the Utah Jazz. Uh I'm not glad. This is not good. This is not good. And two on the Magic. Okay, this is getting kind of out of hand. There's no way. I'm pretty sure that's all. Unless I missed one, but I'm pretty sure we only have like two duplicates. And hey, at the end of the season, the Kobe Bryant, a part of the Denver Nuggets, pulled away with his uh well first MVP award. I guess yeah it technically is his first and six man of the year actually goes to Devin Booker who's on the Cleveland Cavaliers why is he on the Cleveland Cavaliers hold on what the freak just happened why are the Cleveland Cavaliers so stacked oh wait did they trade away what's his face Donovan Mitchell is Donovan Mitchell part of the Phoenix Suns now there's no way right oh my gosh he really is yeah I'm not glad this is kind of crazy let me just go ahead and simulate to the uh the conference finals real quick just so you know we don't have to watch a bunch of mid and I'm pretty sure neither of these teams are actually they don't I'm pretty sure they don't have duplicate kobe's on their team unless the atlanta hawks do and i just didn't notice but so far no it doesn't look like they do but yeah let me go ahead and simulate to the finals real quick and we are getting the los angeles lakers the atlanta hawks inside the nba finals now this actually is a solid matchup now i'm honestly hoping that the lakers pull away with another ring mainly because they have lebron and ad and kobe's back on the lakers i'm not really sure if kobe has any history with the atlanta hawks but i'm sure if he does then i'll put it on top of the screen but yeah let's go game by game real quick the lakers do win game one hawks they steal the second lakers won the third we are tied at two to two hawks go up three to two and they actually pull out on six and for some reason trey young won finals mvp i'm not sure why kobe isn't winning any like finals mvps but i mean i guess there's not really anything we could do about it but yeah that is really unfortunate that the lakers couldn't pull away with the ring considering that lebron just decided to retire at the age of 39 and yeah yet again i just went to look at the rosters and there are a bunch of kobe's that are missing from all these nba teams but if we go over here to all players it says that there's pretty much all still inside the league now i'm sure by now since i simulated for like a week or, or pretty much three weeks now i'm assuming that all the kobe's have made their way onto an nba franchise now i'm not gonna lie for a team that's like trying to tank i wonder if they would like even consider signing one of the kobe's to like be a part of the roster just because like i mean they're trying to tank why would they want kobe bryant and a surprisingly luka Doncic at the end of the season won an mvp award which i mean i guess is really not that surprising if we look back in 2k's history but with a bunch of kobe's inside the league to me it's at least somewhat surprising and kobe bryant a part of the los angeles clippers actually won a dpoy which i mean hey we all know that he was actually really good at defense a lot of people overlook his defensive side of the game and hey luckily for me if we look into the east the indiana pacers are not in the playoffs so uh considering the fact that this is the last season that i want to simulate just because well we're really just going to get a repeat just about every single season it's just going to be another kobe bryant winning another ring so yeah this is going to be the last season and to be honest let's just go ahead and see who can make the finals the atlanta hawks and the houston rockets are here and uh i guess that this kobe only wanted to average 18 points per game but hey uh you know what i'm not gonna complain let's just go ahead and see who could win the title real quick I, and wow there is no way the rockets really just stole a game how many points did kobe drop okay it was mainly Jalen green who i guess has really been their scoring machine which is kind of weird considering the fact that they do have kobe but um i mean he is playing pretty solid he's actually being more of a playmaker more than anything he's throwing 10 assists per game and if we look at this kobe's career history he started out in brooklyn went to san antonio and now he's inside houston and hey to be honest while we're here we might as well look at the other kobe where did this one start oh he went from chicago to the lakers and now he's inside atlanta so this is actually the the same kobe that lost to the hawks inside the nba finals and now he's joining atlanta this man is out here on his kd so yeah we actually have two very unique storylines and the atlanta hawks actually pull off a championship and trey young wants another if what, what, what you know what i don't even know what to say how how do both these kobe's perform you you know what you can just look at the stats real quick but yeah if you 
you did enjoy this video be sure to give me a like and consider subscribing since it does support the channel and hey i'm not gonna lie, i'm sorry for taking so long of a break uh for some reason i was just trying to think outside the box and upload different types of content that i knew you guys would like but at the same time it ended up leading to me going down this like weird path where i just did not know what to upload and i felt like if i just kept uploading a bunch of mid then nobody would really want to watch so i just honestly just took some time to myself to you know recuperate and now we get back into the swing of things i also have these two other channels that i'm starting one has a bunch of overwatch content so if you do like playing overwatch or if you just like watching overwatch content then you should go check that out but i'm sure a lot more of you would actually consider watching this nba channel that i'm starting where we're going to do more analysis and like take an actual look into the nba itself rather than playing 2k but yeah thank you guys for supporting me but i will see you guys in the next one i'm out